I can't believe I'm saying this, but Marvel has outdone themselves with this book. Benjamin Percy has made one of the most interesting dynamics in the Predator lore inside a Black Panther book. By having two Predators that are brothers to fight for their father's favor, even though it has been implied to one brother. As he holds a spear for the entire clan, a spear made of vibranium, the one-legged brother demanded that this hunt be decided to see who is a better brother. Honor was at stake, that they would both have to battle to the death, and perhaps the future of the throne. The fight did not go in the brother's favor as he wished it would be, if it weren't for that spear that father gave to him. Fear that that spear would make would break the entire army of his. Unfortunately, the battle cost him his entire army. But what was he supposed to do? To live in his brother's shadow is to live with dishonor. The true strength of a Yaucha did not come in just strength alone, but in his innovation as he molded technology into his body. As he sits there in his defeat, he starts to think of all the things that could have made a difference in this fight. He already made himself a leg. What about a new helmet to turn himself into the ultimate predator? He took the enemy's mask as he noticed that it was more advanced than theirs. As he found out their loss wasn't an honest one. Their father had a way of maneuvering against him. He will avenge all those that fought by his side. He will forge his own spear. He will go to where his father found his to earn his right as the new king. He had a ship underneath the lake the whole time and he takes it to Wakanda and he's able to break their algorithm and head in. T'Challa notices a swift change in the atmosphere as he notices the birds are acting strange. As he looks up into the air, he believes that they are about to be ambushed. Black Panther is one of the smartest men on the planet and he will not be so easily afraid. But unfortunately for him, that makes him the most valuable trophy for the Predator. This Yaucha and his squad have Black Panther in his sights. As T'Challa notices a bunch of birds with broken necks, there could only be one thing, that there is something out there, something he can't explain. But he doesn't notice he is in the crosshairs of a Predator. And they shoot him down, but it's not enough because the vibranium suit held him intact, but it was so powerful it knocked him out. As he splatters into the jungle floor, the king has fallen. Now it is time to take down the kingdom. Shuri is on her way out of Wakanda. As she tries to start up communication, all of a sudden they are infiltrated by one of the predators. But the comm line was open still, as she was able to hear the last moments of what the security had. As she tries to question it, the predator uses his mimicry. Help me, help me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. While he was doing that, he was securing the perimeter to make sure she wouldn't be able to access it again. As she turns around saying, there is something wrong, as a predator doesn't want interference. As a ship blows up outside and let the hunt begin.